G'day guys, welcome to, first of all, let's start off with Happy Mother's Day. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, if you're celebrating Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day. Um, what am I doing? I sat down, I meant to, I have had, look, I'm just going to call it from the top, okay? My tape runner there is just going to explain to you how my week has been. Slightly crazy, slightly chaotic, full of love, full of good intentions, and chaotically busy. That just sums up my week. Okay, so you know where my headspace is. If I stumble a little bit, that's because I'm, that's my headspace. So I've given you the disclaimer. <laughs> okay, so I am... I'm going to, this is, this layout is super, super simple. It is sped up, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm literally just scrapping this off the top of my head. I pulled out a couple of bright bits and pieces, just leftover pieces, and I just went to town. So creating some banner pieces, all that sort of stuff. And I'm going to, don't forget in this video, there is one of the giveaway gift card giveaway words so keep your eyes peeled for that i will give you my little spiel about that to celebrate reaching 1500 subscribers i will be giving away two gift cards to two lucky subbies all t's and c's are listed below and don't forget to collect all 16 words and that's why you've got the bonus mother's day video i know i don't always do videos on sundays that's my day off but I figured for Mother's Day, and whilst you guys are tuning in, getting your words together, I figured it was a perfect day for you to take 20 or 30 minutes out with a nice cuppa, sit down, watch a video, hopefully put your feet up for half an hour and kick back and you never know. Give it another week and you might be the one that wins the money. You might win the gift voucher. Okay. Now, what else do I want to tell you? Um, gift card. I think that was it, wasn't it? That was. It was just the gift card. I'm just... <laughs> I told you it's been a crazy week. I'm trying to remember because I've been doing design team layouts and I've been trying to get my spiel right for all different videos and I started writing little little bits as you've probably noticed I'm saying the same thing over and over it's because I've got it written down that's why I'm repeating it in each video um so yeah let's just kick back with a cuppa I've got a glass of water because you know Queensland all that sort of stuff it's actually not very hot it's raining today raining can you believe that Mother's Day and it's rainy I don't mind because you know what I'm a homebody I'm a crafter. I love just being at home in my own zone. So, and if I'm at home and it's raining and my kids are all stuck at home with me, that makes me a happy mum. So, write in the comments below. So, you know how I said to you to write, write me a comment, leave me a comment, all that sort of bizzo. Let me know. What did you get for Mother's Day? Was it what you wanted? Was it what you expected? I know we all say that we love everything from our children and significant fur babies, etc. But sometimes, let's let's just be honest. Let's just have an honest conversation. Sometimes it's disappointing. Sometimes you sit back and go, like, I'll be completely honest. I spend so much money on my craft stuff and my scrapbooking stuff that I have zero, absolute nip, zero expectation of gifts on special days i'm coming back to this conversation take a note of what i'm doing can you see how the colors are not bright i stuffed up you know how i say to you i leave in the good the bad and the ugly here it is so i'm using my distress oxide sprays and i'm like where's the color gone what's going on it's not bright i didn't put gesso on the page and it is not and it's about here after i put some more on there that i realized hang on a minute I didn't put gesso down, so with the Distress Oxide sprays, I'm going to let you know that if you don't 
you like if you don't prepare when we could when we say prepare i'm going to explain this a little bit more because some people just assume everyone knows it to prepare your cardstock we use a product quite often we use a product called gesso gesso comes you can get it in so many different brands you can get liquitex you can get finnebear art basics you can get montmart you can get um they've all escaped me they've there's like there's a stack of different types of gesso now why gesso can you see what's happening now with my i'm literally able to add a little bit of water because and see how the color's staying really bright that's twisted citron by the way um the reason why is because it's sitting on top of the cardstock it's not sinking into the cardstock so one you get a much slower dry time so you're able to add a bit of liquid add a bit of you might add some more ink you might add a different ink you might want to move around with a paintbrush you might want to use an air blowing tool you might want to pull out a makeup sponge like i just did and create some shapes you know you can you can do all of that if you've prepped your cardstock first do you always have to prep your cardstock no i don't always prep my cardstock and that's on the days where i go i'll expect the result that i get and in the wise words of tim holtz you get what you get and you don't chuck a fit that's what i do if i don't put now what i'm putting on here right now you've seen me use this twice this week which is like a miracle this is actually the ranger resist spray okay it's a distress product and it's the resist spray you can use it in the atomizer you can spray it i wherever you put huge disclaimer imagine that this is now what i'm saying is in lights wherever this product lands it will be forever you cannot get it off okay it becomes resist for a reason it will resist any kind of process you throw at it to get it off there you just won't okay phones and ipads i will be honest with you not my laptop because i learned but i can tell you now there is a few specks of that stuff and it's not coming off for anybody so wherever you put it did you notice i had that little puddle next to me it was on plastic because that way i can just peel it off and throw it in the bin and it's done i when i use products like that i try not to um wash them down the drain or try and rinse them because i don't know what that's going to do long term so yeah i don't do that now I know my color choices here are a little bit wacko jacko okay but stick with me all i'm using is a makeup sponge i'm just creating sort of rectangular sort of blotty bits now the reason i just put those splats on there is because i got overspray on it when i sprayed it on my plastic i got a bit of overspray and oh what are you gonna do this was just an easy layout for me this was just another one that i sat down i actually came into my crafty space today at about i think it was about four o'clock it's currently nine o'clock and this layout came together super quick and i absolutely love i love how it turns out in the end i know festive berries on top of twisted citron are you thinking to yourself karen you've lost your marbles woman wait till the end because i've got those other colors and i've tied three colors in remember how i always say to you guys to see see the other side i didn't throw the cardstock out i just flipped it over so see this side of it see how it's really dull that's because that side of the cardstock is not prepped if you had have used um see i'm flipping cardstock left right and center today aren't i um so basically if you had have used you can use you can buy prepped now that's going to be untrue i don't know that it's prepped 
for water and mixed media. But Vicky Booten has got a paper line and you can get black and you can get white and it's called uh, Vicky Booten's Foundations Paper. That cardstock is designed for mixed media. Now you can do what I did on my on my like with all my sprays. You can do that without putting gesso on the page. So if you're someone that just wants to have a little dapple in it and you want to get results similar to mine, but you don't want to outlet because gesso is not cheap. Like gesso is about I think it's about 15 20 bucks for a bottle. It goes forever. Okay, it really does. I've got a bottle. I've I do have to get another one, but I'm down to probably my last quarter of my bottle. And I've had this bottle of clear gesso. Well, you know how much I scrap, right? So I do at least six layouts a week. And most of those have some sort of mixed media on them. And I've had that bottle of gesso for a couple of years. So... I mean, it's getting to the end now, but I do need to get another one. If you're watching this cast, I will be placing an order for some more Finnebear Art Basics Gesso because I need some. I like the clear gesso over the white because it doesn't affect the color of whatever product you're putting on top of it. What I have noticed, and this is in my experience, if I use white gesso, it zaps the intensity of the distressed products that I'm putting on top whether that is it's fine if you're using an acrylic paint um, a watercolor it does sort of affect that as well but if it's an acrylic paint it goes on top not a problem but if you want to use your distress inks your distress oxides you want to use your distress sprays it fades them so I stick with the clear and then there's no issue. Now, as you can see, I've just created my little sort of couple of banners. I literally just pulled, these were just scraps, leftover scraps. That top piece, that's that big rectangle piece, that's left over from the Vicky Booten, I think it's colour study. Let me check. I have the piece sitting here color study and it is linear that's the sheet that I'm using and it was my last little bit of it and I really 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 I'm really drawn to that super uber bright green and yellow don't know why just am at the moment it's a fake look I love yellow in general but this is the super super bright one and I really like it so I didn't want to waste any of this and I didn't want it to go past my excitement for the color basically <laughs> so I decided that I would jump in and use it I then mixed some of the craft consortium six by six over the rainbow collection remember we did the um, that's the paper pad that we used for the free classes so anyone that used the classes they're the sheets out of that paper pad if you want to duplicate this look at all they're the ones that I've used I just grabbed some and thought you know Jen's got a pink shirt on so I, that will allow me to bring in some of the pinks this is my little mini teeny tiny stapler it's not a Tim Holtz one it's a cheapo from I think I got that from Officeworks and the little tiny staples they are number 10 staples so they're smaller they're the same size you put in a Tim Holtz Look at me. See, I just can't do stickers anymore. Did you see that? I tried. It wasn't, look, it wasn't a great try. I didn't really overly try to do it. But I'm just not one to do that anymore. But, okay. Now, here's something. Now, you want a testament for a product, a quality product that by, I'm sorry, hands down, simple stories if you're listening you guys are absolutely amazing your product is beyond words i don't have words it is unbelievable as you can see i am using just using 
the icebox stick that comes in in the or what do you use call it in America a popsicle stick we just call it a wooden stick ice block stick whatever you want to call it uh, paddle pop stick um, I'm using that I'm putting this down can you see what I'm doing I'm literally putting down simple stories simple vintage life in bloom rub-ons directly on top of not only is it gessoed not only does it have distress oxide sprays all over it that I have actually gone to the next step because I've added water to it as well as I've got the resist spray on there seriously those rub-ons went down like nobody's business and they're not going anywhere that to me is a product worth backing if you can get a product that will do that so if you don't if you okay rewind take a step back sorry about that if you've never used rub-ons before what are they they are a essentially it's a sticker but it's not it it's tacky but it's activated by you rubbing so you peel the the backing piece of it just sort of comes away from it and then you place it down where you want it you hold it in place and you rub the top of it with I usually use a plastic um, I usually use my Teflon bone folder to be honest with you but I use the products it came with oh I'm so sorry I just yawned that was so rude okay so to be honest with you they're not a sticker they're not something that you can add glue to it if it's not going to stick it's not going to stick it's just is what it is rub-ons from yesteryear they were terrible it was so hit and miss it was awful simple stories their quality of product has come forward so far it is you the products that we had years ago they just don't even compare do not compare whatsoever these things are amazing because they I forgot to glue down my actual photos whoops so I just moved it and saw it move and went oh you didn't actually glue the whole centerpiece down Karen so now I'm putting it down some bling so essentially this is my layout now what I'm what I want to waffle about is these rub-ons if you want to give them a try I have bought all of mine through crazy craft obsession now this is not one of their videos but I'm just letting you know that's where I get mine from and they are they they literally are absolutely brilliant I have never found a product that has wowed me as much as what these have I was never a simple stories person it just wasn't me it wasn't my jam right you guys see how I scrap I I have to sort of find my things if that makes sense I don't just look at a it takes a lot to get my attention with a product and to retain my attention with a product because it's quality every single time and I'm telling you last year was the first time I ever bought a Simple Stories product and it was the Indigo Garden collection the vintage Indigo Garden collection and oh I absolutely adore it this collection is off the charts it is so good it's up there I've probably I'd probably have to say if I was gonna give you my top few um, companies that I really really enjoy working with not when I say working with they don't pay me but what what I'm saying is you know like these are the things that I really really look for in a product for me to be able to promote it to you guys I have to be able to look at the the quality of product do I get a consistent result from what they're trying to get me to so for instance a rub-on okay if it says it's a rub-on I need to consistently have it work on all my different mediums for me to be able to say to you 
I back that 100%. If you spend your hard-earned dollars, there's your word, by the way. Have a look. There it is. Um, so for me to tell you to purchase the product, I have to know that it's great. And it is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So is 49th and Market. So I reckon Simple Stories, 49th and Market. Um, oh, look. Vicky Booten, I do buy some of her stuff. I don't buy all of it because I like making my own backgrounds. Um, who else do I really, really like? Craft Consortium, believe it or not. I quite like their papers. They're, they're not over the top. Like I, They're bright. They're, they're vivid. They're, I love that. And what else can I tell you? That's, that's about it. They're probably my top ones, actually. I might do, if you're interested in my top five picks, let me know in the comments below. And this is my layout. I did unfortunately forget to press start. The bling that you can see there, that is just cheap from the $2 shop. You know the hexagon glitter that you can buy in the packets? That's what it is. And I just sat there and popped it down. And it's giving me my shimmer and shine and bling with my butterflies absolutely love it thank you so much for watching guys i hope you all have a wonderful mother's day and if you aren't with your mother or if your mother is no longer with you we love you and we see you and i hope you try and have a wonderful day so we are just about done and I will have everything listed below. Don't forget, as always, like, subscribe, comment, share my page with everyone else. And I will be back with you and chat to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.